Hey everyone, it's me again. Just a brief note on what's going on this week. So I'm not going to bother editing this video. I'm not even bothering to get fully dressed up for work for it because I need to be comfortable too if I'm working from home. As you can see, this week is going to be a little different than previous weeks. We're overlapping papers a little bit, and this would have happened anyway, even if there hadn't been an outbreak. So we're not doing much differently than we would have done. The paper number three assignment sheet is going to be available uh, starting on Saturday night, midnight. And even I said I wasn't going to do any edits. I stopped recording before telling you about paper number three. Paper number three is going to be a persuasive argument. It's going to be a proposal for an action to be taken or not taken, or for a law to be changed or a law to be repealed. It's essentially trying to get somebody to do something as opposed to a convincing paper, which is what paper number one was and which some of you may be doing for paper number two. Now, many of you, I told you that your paper number two topic might be better as a paper three topic, especially if you were arguing for something to be done in a particular way. And this is when you should be using that topic because that topic is going to be particularly useful for this paper. If you have questions, of course, let me know. The readings are already available, and these are two topics that you chose before we went off to spring break. So with any luck, you'll be interested, and you'll do the reading, and you'll respond to the reading in DB number six. And the Kahoot this week is going to be on the other part of grammar that we covered last week in the lecture, which was modifiers. Now, just a word of warning on that one. Uh, if you're given two different choices and you're asked which one is the correct one, go with the one that makes the most logical sense. In other words, sound them out in your head and make sure that one sounds correct and logical and the other doesn't. The biggest thing you're going to notice about this week is that your peer evaluation drafts are due by Wednesday night, 11.59 p.m. and then the evaluations are due Friday night and then the paper itself is due Sunday night. Now, we're doing peer evaluation slightly differently this time. I've already set up the group. I'm gonna have everybody submit their draft by Wednesday night. If you have not submitted your draft, then I will not put you with peer evaluators. And I'm doing this specifically to combat the ever-present problem of people simply not putting drafts up and not doing peer evaluations. Some of you were pretty much screwed over last time because you were placed with people that didn't read your paper or didn't post their own paper, and that is going to stop. So with Kitty, he's itching himself, forgive me. For paper number two, what we're going to have you do is post those drafts on Wednesday night, and then by Thursday noon, I will assign you two peer evaluators, and those will be the ones who will be evaluating your paper and whose papers you will be evaluating. That's also how we're going to do paper number three, just to make sure that everybody gets proper feedback. Now, Allow me to be serious here for just a minute. I know that many of you are going through a lot. I know I am. And I know that you're probably dealing with sick family members or just isolation, not being able to go out of the house if you're in a state that has a shelter in place or like Illinois currently does or whatever, or you have other jobs. And that's perfectly fine. I understand you have better things to do. And I know you literally have better things to do. But I want to point out that while most of you, and I mean this, most of the class, a large number of you, are doing the work in the class and you're putting all your best efforts into it, there's a small number who aren't. And in fact, I haven't heard from some of you at all. And I worry about you. And I worry about your grade in the class because I could give you an incomplete, but you have to have a passing average in the class to be eligible for an incomplete, which means you have to turn in the work. So you need to do the work. If you haven't been as active in, say, discussion boards or in getting your drafts up or what have you, take this week to turn that around because we literally have only four weeks left in the semester. That's it. I'm going to be spending all of next week grading one-on-one -on -one papers when they come in, and then the week after that, I'll be grading your papers. So you'll be getting them back by the end of that week. So please, 
do the work. And if you're doing the work, thank you very much and keep doing it because you're doing a great job. And whatever help I can give you, I will give you. Okay? All right. If you have questions, email or text me. Stay safe. See you later. Bye-bye.